For this week's Tessio Tuesdays, Tessio Republican at the Ritz Logis Show, we have first time recipient, Oregon gubernatorial candidate, Newt Bueller. Hey guys, got a brand new Tessio Republican for you this week, Oregon gubernatorial Republican candidate, Newt Bueller. Now you guys might be wondering, Rich, what did Bueller do? to receive this esteem recognition as a Tessio Republican for the first time. You know, guys, usually I focus on national lawmakers and candidates as well as the Never Trumper Democrats and the Never Trumper Media Industrial Complex. But given that I've got a lot of connections and ties to Oregon, I've been watching this gubernatorial race, I'm doing this Tessio video with the hopes and I'm rooting for Newt Bueller to get elected. So Newt is a guy who wrote in John Kasich for president back in 2016. Yes, he's another one of the, he's another Republican who wrote in John Kasich for president in 2016. Yes, so, so writing in John Kasich was, he may as well have just written in Hillary Clinton for president. So, so Bueller is against Trump until he's for him. He's against abortion until he's for it. And he's against sanctuary cities until he's for it. So the question for Newt is, which is it? And this is the problem with his race right now, and it's why I'm concerned and I think that he's, he's not giving himself a chance to win because he's running as another sad loser, wishy-washy, Jeb Bush, John Kasich type Republican, and I suspect that many Republicans in Oregon want more and want, di want different and better from Bueller. So as this week's test your Republican for the first time, I want to say to Newt, it's not personal, it's strictly business, but this kind of campaign that you're running against a woman, current governor, Kate Brown, who has taken Democrat wackadoodery to new levels. What you're doing in this type of campaign is you're taking sides against the family. Who's the family? It's your voters. People are supporting you, people who want to support you. Moms, dads, husbands, wives, sons, daughters, working families, small business owners, people who went out and in large part elected President Trump in 2016 and are going to elect in the next two weeks Trump-type candidates who are very strong about state and national sovereignty. But unfortunately, Newt Bueller is running an old-school establishment Republican-type candidacy. It's the one I like to call the sad loser Jeb Bush, John Kasich type Republican candidacy. So Newt, I want you to know again, I'm rooting for you. I hope you're elected. I want you to get elected because I want you to help contribute to the largest majority the GOP has had across the country in the last nine decades. But I'm afraid with the way that you're running, you're giving your opponent, Governor Brown, you're giving her plenty of ammunition, you're giving her plenty of opportunities, and I'm just concerned that you're running as a democrat light type Republican. So is this week's test your Republican for the first time? And in offering you this campaign advice, Newt Bueller, I say to you, don't ever take sides against the family again, ever. And remember guys, in The Godfather, Tessio may have been smarter than Clemenza, but Clemenza was always more loyal. And in politics, and in preserving our great nation, as well as each state in our great nation, and in ensuring that we elect candidates who are going to run very formidable national and state sovereignty campaigns, I say to Newt Bueller this, and always remember, loyalty always trumps smarts. And for more of these Tessio Tuesdays videos, guys, check them out at my site at theritzalogishow.com on the Tessio Republican section. Be sure to tune into the Ritz Show on Thursday. We'll be talking more about Newt Bueller then. Until next time, as always, thank you guys for watching.